As you type, you might notice some red underlined words on your Doodle Doc. This is telling you that that word is misspelled. Now, when you want to initiate spell check, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can do it at tools, spelling, and then spell check, or the easier way is maybe go through it one at a time. So I'm going to start by doing this word here. I'm going to right click. Now, it's given me a suggestion. Did I mean dingle head as two separate words? Now, if I select this, this is going to create a permanent autocorrect to this word. So whenever the word dingle head is typed, it will separate that there. Here, this will make sure that this word is never marked as misspelled anymore because it will be in my personal dictionary. And if I click ignore, it's just going to ignore this misspelling in this particular document. So now I'll go into tools, spelling, and spell check. And it's going to pop up this little box in the upper right hand corner. Now, if I want right here, I could actually type the word that I wanted to change to. Here, I could just take the suggestion and change it one word at a time, or I could click on these drop down arrows and make sure that every single one of these words will be changed or every single one of these words will be ignored. Now I also have the option to add this misspelled word to my own personal dictionary so that it will never be listed as misspelled as long as I am on my same account. Now I can go through my personal dictionary to choose or remove a word by clicking on that drop down arrow there. So if I click on this, I can view my own personal dictionary. And here I've got some different words that I already don't want to list as being misspelled, including some student names. So if I was to add this right here, this would be a permanent whitelist, so it will never be marked as misspelled. I'm going to do that right now. Now, if I change my mind at any later date and said, ooh, dingleheaded, yeah, that's not grammatically accurate, I could easily remove that by hitting the X.